Welcome back to the book review and flip through. And today we're going to take a look at Guillermo del Toro's art of book of the stop motion movie Pinocchio. I had this book for a while, but couldn't open up just yet because I only saw the movie last week with my family. It was great. We all loved it. It was really well done. Now, this book was given to me for a review. So this is a sponsored post, full disclosure, but no notes for given in terms of the content. This is just me taking a look at it. As always, you know how those flip throughs work. And if not, check out my channel. There's more about that. So this is the book. Beautiful front and back. This is the spine. Pretty thick book. A timeless tale told anew. There you go. Contents, got chapter one, two, and so on. This is what you get. Definitely a unique design for Pinocchio. It's great. Character designs are awesome, as you can expect by the director. You get forward here. Look at that. Even that already as a an actual practical piece. I love it. So cool. You got the intro. It's production paintings, color scripts. Concept art, so many awesome set pieces and how it goes through time and it changes depending on the setting. Don't want to say too much, but it probably has enough spoilers in it, as you can imagine with a art of book. Once upon a time, look at that. It's already, because you always feel like, no, they must be not that big. <laughs> and then you see all this, look at this, they're huge. So much work. I cannot imagine. I mean, I do have puppets in the background. Actually, I do have these two that I will unbox and I want to try. You can see here, posable and they got swappable faces. You guys can, if you get multiple ones, you get different faces then. But I haven't done stop motion since school, which is what, like 20 years now. It's a daunting idea to get, you know, I'm not even going to say get back to it because I never was really into it because it's just so, so difficult. But I do want to try. And every time I see a movie like this, it's just, it's at the same time, it's awesome, encouraging and not encouraging because it's the quality is so good. But the aspect of, of moving a puppet physically, especially after all those years, having done CG animation, kind of having a better understanding of timing and spacing and just kind of performances and stuff like that. I think it would be really interesting to go in there and do something with it. Got your different Pinocchio designs here. Geppetto on the right. He was so great. Great voice too. Look at that. So nice. As you can imagine, with Del Toro, you're going to have interesting creature designs with lots of eyes. Definitely an interesting design here. This could almost fit into an Indiana Jones movie. He was super cute too. Great voice as well. Interesting uh, casting, like a very famous voice, Capel and Chat, I believe, for the, uh, the voice. This was cool, too. Look at these. I love it. Yeah, love seeing all of this. It's absolutely bonkers. Love seeing this craftsmanship and all the work that goes behind this. Color and costume. Look at that. <laughs> these are awesome. So much work. Assembling the cats. There we go. I really like that there is the, it gives you a broader story about how Geppetto lost his son. Spoiler. But kind of how it ties into the overall story. Just, it gives it, it gives it a more, to me, emotional depth. And there was a really nice, that's cute, nice overall arc for Pinocchio as well. Again, I don't want to say too much. So many awesome sets, so much work. Love seeing all this, a lot of cool information and details in the text as well. I mean, it's kind of, it's a mix between kind of a retelling of the story, kind of tells you what happened at this point and explaining what's going on here with a bit of a behind the scenes of the production. Which is really neat. It's a, it's a good balanced um, art of book. It's definitely interesting to see for me, like I love stuff like that. Artwork of their production, but then also going into details, again, like facial expressions, but then that type of stuff. Like I love that they included photos like this with 
with the uh, kind of more behind the scenes aspect of it. And you can go on Twitter and I retweeted a bunch of stuff where you can see the time lapse of the, the animators. It's just so much crazy work. Cool focus on, <laughs> he gets a lot of this, on the sets and the posters, silhouette and scale. This was a good moment in the movie as well. I can't want to say too much, but these were funny. I mean, it's dark, but they still cracked me up. See, this is great. I love all this. Definitely, I know, sometimes you have art of books that are a bit more on the fluffier side in terms of what's going on. I love all of this, all of that. Just gives you just kind of the sense of scope and scale and all of this of the production is great. And that's why to me, this is a more, more of a balanced um, art of book, more so than usual. It's so cool. So cool to see. I just can't imagine. <laughs> Spoilers. Can't imagine just doing so much work. So much detail. You just get so spoiled with your computer animation and undo and all the tools that we have. A lot of more darker undertones and imagery there. That's what I loved about the movie as well, that it wasn't just, it wasn't glossing over things. It sets it in a very specific time, which is not unusual for Del Toro's movie. There's always a bit of that angle to it. There's just a lot going on in the movie. It was great. Now we're headed towards the end. This is the spoiler aspect of it, but not too much. The songs were cute too. Got the composer, the really, really nice music. I love the score and the songs are great. That's cool. And then we got the epilogue and we got some of these poster sketches. And there we go towards the end. There you go. Last page. The end. Very neat. Like I said, very balanced. I think it's a good mix of behind the scenes photos and production work and design work and paintings. So overall, I would recommend it. Definitely recommend the movie. I think stop motion movies are really at the highest craft of animation, but usually in terms of box office and viewership, it's just always kind of more on the lower end. I don't know why. They're just so good. So well done. Highly recommend it again. And the book had a really good blend of behind the scenes and production work and concepts and paintings. I don't know. I liked it. As with these, I always kind of prefer more on the rougher side and not too polish with more sketches and rough ideas of character designs how they get to places but that is fairly rare in art of books nowadays i've gone through a couple now and it's just i don't know there's something a bit more that you could do and i think it would have been cool to also get more of like what was the blend between the cg and stop motion how much was their use what was the balance of their kind of more of a behind the scenes making of type of thing and i always lean back to the bad guys that had a really good insight of just kind of the effects of it and all that i would have loved to see a bit more i think it's generally well balanced i would love to see a bit more in-depth sketches and early work and kind of the blend of the amount of set work puppet work cg you work and all that stuff but that is just me but as you can see overall very cool of course link in the description with all the information where you can get the book and that's it for me thanks for watching i'll see you in my next flip through